lower back pain and you're perhaps seeing people already in terms of practitioners and you're not getting results, then you may want to stick around because today we're talking scoliosis. We're talking what is a scoliosis, how it presents, who can get the scoliosis and what sort of treatments are available out there. So hello again everyone, it's Dr. Lisa and Dr. Britt. Hi guys. And we're chiropractors here at Errol Street Chiropractic in North Melbourne. Is a scoliosis a kink? You know, is it, what, what, when is a kink in the spine a scoliosis? Or when yeah. is it just a kink, a bit of a bend? Yeah, okay. So when we talk about scoliosis, we are talking about a curvature of the spine, okay? And to diagnose this in the practice, we need to see a set of x-rays. So it's really important to actually make sure that if you are thinking that you have scoliosis, um, a set of x-rays is really important. So for scoliosis to be diagnosed, when we look at the x-rays, we look at them from the side and we look at them from the front, okay? So scoliosis is actually an abnormal curvature when we look at your x-rays from the front because when we are viewing these x-rays, you should be in a nice straight line. But when we look at the x-ray, you have an abnormal curve and that is a scoliosis. So it's an abnormal lateral curve of the spine. But what we also see is the vertebrae. So these back vertebrae, they're rotated. So they turn inwards to that curve. And you'll see it present as almost a C or an S shape through the spine mm. as well. So yeah, you can, so a C, a C scoliosis is just one uh, bend to yes. one, off to one side. Yeah. And the S, obviously like the shape S, whether it's uh, forwards or backwards, is a double bend. Yeah. So you tend to have a primary yeah. and a secondary scoliosis. So the other thing that um, we, we discuss with people, and we obviously check people in our office, but something for you to kind of be aware of is whether um, you, know, you have a scoliosis, what would you perhaps be looking for? Yeah. What are the, some of the indicators that a scoliosis may be present in a spine? So, what could they be then, Britt? Yeah, so I guess when also we're talking about scoliosis, it's really important to be looking early in children yes. as well. So, a lot of the time scoliosis presents in kids around 11 to 12 years before they start puberty. But it is important to know that actual young children, so babies mm. and infants, can present with scoliosis, which is even more severe a lot of the time long term. So it's important to be looking at our kids early on and mm. checking their posture. So if you're thinking about um, scoliosis and what it presents with, especially in children you could see, or even in adults if they've got an adult scoliosis, because that is a thing also, um, you do see an abnormal um shift in their posture so one shoulder can sit a little bit higher or a hip can sit a little bit higher as well um, the other little um, telltale sign and it's also a test is if you bend forward you have a slight rib pump so that's always a telltale sign especially in um, kids if they bend forward slightly and one of their um, ribs sits higher than the other that can be a sign that there can be a scoliosis starting as well and it's important to note that scoliosis is actually more common in females as well, so it can affect males, but 90% of um, scoliosis is in females. Mm -hmm. And we don't really know why. No, yeah. So yeah, you've definitely touched on the next one too there, Dr. Rick. Yes, so I skipped ahead. That's okay, okay. <laughs> who can suffer? Yeah. Basically everyone. So as yeah. Dr. Rick was saying, you, we do have the very um, scary kind of infantile scoliosis. Yeah. Uh, there's the juvenile scoliosis, and there's idiopathic, uh, where we're not really sure, and then there's the pathological ones where there are some sort of um, disease process going on that yeah. can cause the scoliosis. Um, and then you've got the uh, adult scoliosis. scoliosis. Okay, yeah. so a lot of the times the adult scoliosis, yes. uh, scoliosis it's been there yeah. from childhood, you know, childhood yeah. yeah, that progresses with time. So these can, you know, a lot of a lot of the time when people come into our office and they've got back pain, they don't even realise they've got a scoliosis. No. And what it does is you know, it makes sense that when the spine is nice and neutral, then there's less stress and strain Absolutely. on joints and discs and nerves and obviously just, and structures full stop. So that, that kink really does strain all those structures and can over time lead to, you know, stretching and extra load and stress, which can create inflammation and then that can create some pain. So it is a big subject, but We'll also touch on, you know, if you do know you've got a scoliosis, then 
what do you do when yeah. when is it important to go get that checked if you're feeling that that it's an issue for you so what are some of the treatment options for people who have yeah. got a scoliosis then so we're, we're really talking across the board here yeah all ages yeah so yeah. I guess treatment depends on the severity of the, the curve as well. So mm -hmm. if it's picked up quite early in kids, conservative treatment can be a really great place to start and then monitor as um, growth progresses. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's picked up quite early, it does require a lot of monitoring because growth yeah. So for curves less than 20 degrees, mm -hmm. they do say you can be working on more conservative measures such as your exercises um, and also um, a great rehab device called a scully roll, which we have here in the practice. We should have should have had that lined up. So a scully roll can be really great in reducing that curve in a more conservative measure. So we use that um, in terms of the chiro biophysics that we do here in the practice, they can do that on the, the traction table and they also do that at home. And that can be can create great results in reducing that curve if it is started quite early on and the curve is a, you know, a quite a mild curve yes. as well. Yeah. Um, so over 20 degrees, so between 20 to 30, um, we refer to Scully Care. Mm -hmm. So Scully Care um, are all over Australia, but they work um, with patients with scoliosis in more dynamic bracing. Mm -hmm. um, so a dynamic brace, which is um, different from the rigid brace, it allows mm -hmm. you to still lead a pretty active lifestyle. Um, but that severe cases, surgery can sometimes be the last option yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So, and just to be aware, there are times, and as Dr. Britt was saying, as children are going through a growth spurt, yeah. that's when a mild scoliosis can progress very rapidly to yeah. a moderate to severe scoliosis. Um, so around that kind of late primary school mm -hmm. and the other time uh, women going through menopause yeah. so there can be a very rapid progression of the scoliosis during that time and very important and this is quite a, a misconception that mm -hmm. a lot of people think that if yeah. you have an adult scoliosis it just stays fixed at yeah. that particular angle it stays and the same as it was at, when you finish growing at mm. you know 18 16 17 18 and it is a really massive misconception yeah. that uh we know is not true and unfortunately it's not true we wish it was because what the research is showing is that it can and often does progress yeah. one to two degrees a year which is quite a bit so in 10 years time yeah. you know that could progress you know you know 10 to 20 degrees so this is a, a you know it is a a problem that um not enough information is no. out there so yeah. this is uh, just to give you that bit of information and just make you know increase that awareness for you pass this video on mm. as well it's very important for you to pass this on and to contact us or yeah. your local um, musculoskeletal person to you know get that information but it is it is not something for you to leave if you're no. not sure if your back issue may have a, you know, have a scoliosis as well to complicate this as I said pass this information on yeah. let us know what you think and um, yeah we will see you at our live next week yeah, yeah. thanks Britt thanks Lisa <laughs> take care guys bye now see you guys